What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here, and I have something a little bit different for you today. And I'll get to that in a minute, but first I will throw a clip up for you to watch. So enjoy. Well, as you can see from that clip, I've prepared a piece of leather to make a sheath for my tops tie bow. So, why have I decided to try and make a leather sheath for my tops tie bow? Well, allow me to demonstrate. Yeah, it's a... Uh, a bit annoyingly clicky now as taking the black traction coating off of the blade to blue it actually removed quite a bit of thickness and enough to make the sheath rattle which is kind of annoying so I cut myself off a piece of veg tanned leather from one of my scraps which are 12 inch by 12 inch squares and I'm probably going to make this leather sheath tackle style. Now, I don't have any experience with leather working. Uh, and this is veg tanned leather. I don't know if I mentioned that a minute ago or not. But yes, this is veg tanned leather. And that is going to be made into a sheath for my tie bow. Now, I did make a mistake when I was cutting the leather. I forgot to cut a longer tab on one side for a belt loop. So that was a bit of a screw up on my part and also the uh, cut really isn't even. I can fix that with a bit of sandpaper more than likely, just a little bit of 320 grit by hand. So I'm not too worried about the cut not being completely straight. Now, the question is, how am I going to stitch this project? Well, I've been thinking about that, and the easiest way to do it, and no matter which way I do it, I'm going to have to leave a little bit of a drainage hole because of how tight this level gets near where it will bend, is probably a whip stitch. I've done that before on another project. I don't have that project to hand by the looks of it. Or do I? Let me just uh, go dig in here. Ah, yes, I actually do have the project to hand, which is uh, this pocket knife sheath I got. This was actually a kit. It's held together just by a whip stitch, so I could do it that way. Or I could use a saddle stitch. Now, I've looked up the saddle stitch on YouTube, but I have never done it myself. In fact, my only experience with leather work, full disclosure here, is this sheath I've got here, which as I said, came as a kit. All I had to do was stitch it together. And it came with instructions of what stitch to use, that being the whip stitch. So, the next job for me is getting this stitched up and I might actually cut one edge off so it follows the shape of the tie bow. And then I'm probably going to wet form it. Now, this leather here does wet form. It's not the best at wet forming. So the fact that I forgot to put a flap on for a belt loop is going to come back and bite me, I think. However, I do have options. Now, my first option is I could put a loop on the back. It's going to have to be a lot, relatively large loop going over the middle, sorry, not on the back, over the middle. Make it scout carry, but that seems kind of pointless given that the Taibo is a really small knife. My second option, and this is the one I'm considering more, is actually turning it into a neck sheath. And that would be relatively easy to do because all I'd have to do is punch a hole 
in the leather. Uh, I'd have to leave a bit more space to do that. And yes, I have checked and this will be enough leather to do a sheath taco style like you would with Kydex, although it doesn't look it. So I think what I may end up doing is either making it into a neck sheath or I could just stitch it basically and have it as a pocket sheath, which that is actually probably going to be the better option. The tie boat is small enough that will fit in the coin pocket on most combat. Uh, well, not coin pocket because, fun fact, the pocket in jeans was not originally meant for coins. The pocket in jeans was originally meant for a pocket watch. So it should fit in that pocket. If not, it'll just be like a normal pocket sheaf, like you have pocket holsters for guns. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. I've got a lot of work to do to get this scrap of leather into a sheaf. It's probably just going to be a prototype because, honestly, I don't think I've left myself much margin of margin for error to work from. But we'll see how it comes out. As I said, this is my first attempt. Anyway, that's all about that. For those of you interested in supporting my channel, I do have channel stickers available still. These are printed on vinyl, they are 70 millimeters diameter. And as they are printed on vinyl, they will be perfectly fine to use outdoors on tackle boxes, guns, gun cases, tool boxes. <laughs> you can put them on a reloading bench, on a workbench. They should work fine on anything. And these are $1.50 a piece. If you would like to get yourself some, you'll find a paypal.me link in the description of my videos, as well as in my channel banner on YouTube. Also, if you would like to see pro uh, uh, photos of projects that you may not see on my YouTube channel, you can check me out on Instagram at the Angry Dracolope. Again, you'll find a link in the description of the video and in my channel banner on YouTube. I also do have a giveaway running at the moment that will be, the winner will be announced once I reach 500 subscribers. The link to the giveaway video is in the description of this video. And if you want to find out how to enter, go to the giveaway video and you will find a comment pinned to the top of the comment section on that video with instructions of how to enter. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other.